Yes, I did. By the way, any members of organized labor here today? Yeah! Are there any teachers here today? Yeah! I'm a social worker! Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I say kid! We appreciate you. <laughs> Let me just say three quick things, and we're going to get the president on out here. First, I've had the pleasure of knowing Hillary Clinton for 30 years. Woo! Oh, yeah. All right, all right. I sat next to her on the Armed Services Committee for eight, and I saw how smart, how tough, how hardworking and how experienced she is. Yep. You know, there's some of these folks going around out there saying, well, she's not qualified. Well, you know what? Oh! 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 I can't imagine a more qualified person to be. That's she's right. Yeah. 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 I traveled with her to Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Mm. We stopped in Germany to see some of the troops in a military hospital before coming back to Washington, D.C. Right. We did all that in four days. All right. Woo. We were going on two, it was a march. We were going on two <laughs> hours of sleep a night. Mm. I was particularly tired because the Colts had a playoff game one of those nights. So I got this, <laughs> well, fortunately, they won. But uh, the reason I tell the story is twofold. Number one, on the, about the fourth day, I looked at her and I said, you know, she had to be upbeat and smiling. The press wanted to talk to her, everyone, a picture taken, and so forth and so on. Finally, I said to her, Hillary, how you do this? Where does your stamina come from? Your energy, your work, and how do you do this? She kind of looked at me like this. She goes, "What are you complaining about? You don't have to worry about your hair." <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. She is strong. I'm telling you, she is strong. But I had a chance to see firsthand how the presidents of these countries look at weather, honey. 